Today we're opening up, it should be a $400 Amal Bracelet Funko Pop Mystery Box. Keyword, should be. So I had to go back through my Whatnot orders because this actually was purchased off of the Whatnot app. My bracelet sells his Funko Pop mystery boxes exclusively only on the Whatnot app. And I've purchased quite a bit. And I kind of had a trouble trying to find which one this might have been. So I think, I think this was a $400 box. But he usually puts kind of like his print off receipt attached to the inner mystery box. So that will tell me exactly what I purchased here. So we'll find out that in just a minute. Before we get this box, I've got two appetizer boxes to start this video. I have two $15 mysterygrail.com fungal pop mystery boxes. 15 bucks a piece plus four bucks in shipping. So what this includes is a one fungal pop, no guaranteed value, one pop and a brand new seven bucks pop, pop shield pop protector, two pieces of candy, and two scratch off cards for the Mystery Grail website and the Grail game website. Here we go. There are Grail possibilities in these boxes. So mysterygrail.com puts these on sale every Thursday and Sunday. Here we go. Is there a Grail? Not a Grail, but we got, what is that? Bugsy Wingnut Monster Series. I have no clue what that thing is. From the Pop Monsters line, Bugsy Wingnut. 2018, March 2018, so it's actually six years old now. It's got a Spring Series sticker on it that I'm not too familiar with that sticker either. Of course, we got candy in here. We got two scratch off cards. We got the Mr. Grail scratch off card and the Grail game scratch off card. You can scratch these off. You get bonus tokens you can use on the websites for these cards. Let's go ahead. Let's do the PPG value on the Hobby DB app. See how much this thing is worth. Bugsby Wingnut. Interesting. What is this creature like? It's like a, a squirrel fox with vampire bat wings. $18. Okay, cool. Box costs $15. It's worth $18. It pretty much almost covers shipping costs, too. So I actually call that a W. So first box, not bad. Not bad. Pretty much just broke even on it. We got two of them in this box. We got two of them. Two appetizers. Here we go. Box number two. Come on. Here we go. Come on, Grail. Is it Grail? Doesn't look like it. We got, oh, we got the Witcher. We got Draw the Witcher. Okay. Netflix. This is from the season one, it looks like. I never get I never did finish season one. We got through three episodes and it was just I thought I thought, I thought it was terrible. I couldn't finish it. Never could, never will. I thought it was just an absolutely terrible show. It's worth $17. Okay, okay. Once again, we got two more scratch off cards for the mrgrail.com website and for the Grail game. Of course. Got your brand new seven bucks pop, pop shield, pop protector. Check out my seven bucks pop.com. We got our candy. So both appetizers are actually worth more than what I paid for the box. So I do call this a W. Two break even boxes, not bad. But let's go ahead, let's do this box. So inside here, like I said earlier, it should have like the print off receipt telling me how much this box cost. It should have been 400. I do know I have three of these boxes over here from Mall Bracelet. Two of them are 400 and one is an $800 box. If this is the box is 800, I'll probably set this off to the side and try a different one because I'm going today for the one that's only $400 box. Is this one it? Okay, here's, here's the invoice. You actually, no, this was the $425 box. $425, the extra, extra read all about it, mall bracelet, Funko Pop, guaranteed value mystery box. It says contains one to six Funko Pops, guaranteed value. Let me tear it off the top of the box. <clears throat> guaranteed value may contain commons, exclusives, vaulted, chases, glow in the dark, flocked, and diamond. Price is $425 box, okay? So box in the box. So this size box, it could be no more than about three Funko Pops, two or three Pops in, in, in this box. Got some weight to it. So I'm guessing there's got to be at least one pop in there that's in either a pop stack or a pop armor. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, 
We got some good stuff here. It's a guaranteed value box, 425, so guaranteed that money back. On whatever he sells these, he doesn't put any kind of like teaser pictures up there. It's just a kind of like a blind trust boxes. But I've never had a bad box from Mall Bracelet. He hasn't sold a whole lot of Funko Pop mystery boxes during December. He didn't sell very many. I know he had up one that was like a five. Let me just actually see, see what's still up. He did post in December, he did post up one box that was a five thousand dollar mystery box let me see if it's still up i'm filming this uh today's january 3rd 2024 this will probably go up on sunday which will be january i don't even know what sunday's going to be six seven eight ninth i think that's not right eighth or ninth um let's see mall bracelet right now he has oh actually yeah it's still up he has a five thousand dollar the greatest grail mystery box ever two available box contains five to eight funko pops guaranteed value contains grails exclusive vaulted chase glow in the dark the floor value is five thousand he doesn't give like the top value box five thousand bucks for me is a little bit too rich I just can't gamble that kind of money. So I'll just let everybody know that Mall Bracelet does actually have a $5,000 mystery box available on whatnot right now. He has two available, but that is an ultra high risk mystery box. Only buy that if you're 100% sure you want to risk the money, but it is a guaranteed value box and it will be full of massive, massive grails. Obviously, massive grails. Here we go. This has three in it three pops in it and one feels like a does feel like a pop armor here we go first one soft protector the back says wally and it is oh mo from wally just a 20 2021 pop probably worth like 15 20 bucks i bet just a wally 2021 pop okay first one pop number two also in a soft protector then there's one that's in the pop armor Number two, Salt Protector, ya Yara Floor, Future Stars DC, Andrea Bautista Gomez, Funko Rivet Future State. Not too familiar with this character. Meantime, she's a Wonder Girl. This one is a 2021. Okay, comes in a brand new box pop, Pop Show Paw Protector. I'm guessing these two right here this can't be much more than 20 maybe 15 i'm guessing 35 dollars tops so i'm guessing this one i bet you is probably minimum about at least 400 400 bucks this is going to be a massive massive hit right here this is going to be a big big pop sometimes he throws in a free pack of like sports cards or those or those funko cards in with his boxes before i pull it out let me see if it was in this box. Not always, but he usually does. I don't see it in there this time. Not a big deal. Just like a little freebie he sometimes he throws in. Oh, there it is. Which one is it? Oh, 2021 Donner's Elite Extra Edition Baseball. Let's make this suspense a little bit longer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and crack open this pack of baseball cards live on camera. See if we've got anything good. 2021 Extra Elite Edition. First one, Dustin Sanez, numbered out of only $9.99. Number two, oh, we actually got a materials card. Benny Montgomery, first materials card. Nice. Then we got, oh, and we got an autograph. Wow, St. Louis, Auto, St. Louis Cardinals autograph, Zane Mills. That's crazy. In an autograph. Next one, Jake Fox Cleveland, numbered out of a 113 die cut. And last one, Andrew Painter Phillies. That was actually a really good pack right there. A game used and an autograph on the same pack. Is that is that normal for this stuff? I don't think it is. Is it? There's no way. I think that was that, that was just an absolutely a loaded. An absolute loaded pack of baseball cards. Two numbered cards, an autograph, and a game use card. Nice. 
That was a nice freebie pack right there. That was worth the wait, right? Here we go. What grail is this? Ready to find out? What we got? Ooh, Iron Patriot. Ooh, actually, I saw it has a JSA sticker on it. This is autograph, too. Who signed it? Is it Don Cheadle? It is Don Cheadle. That's nice. That is signed by Don Cheadle. How cool is that? Actually, I already have a pop signed by Don Cheadle back when he did Ace Comic Con. When was that? 2018, it was like Ace Comic Con Boston, I think it was. I think it was Ace Comic Con Boston. That's nice. 2013. JSA authenticated boxes in fantastic shape. That's the Iron Patriot, the Hot Topic exclusive metallic version in a silver paint pen. Signed Don Cheadle. How cool is that? Now I'm actually kind of curious. The one I have is Iron Patriot, but it's not the metallic version, and it's signed, I think, in a white paint pen. Let me actually just verify. Let me just make sure that actually is Don Cheadle before I sound like an idiot. Let me just make sure. Because knowing my luck is not Don Cheadle. Yes, it is Don Cheadle. Just want to make sure I don't sound like an idiot. Yeah, it's Don Cheadle. Item signed Funko Pop. Authenticated. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. But yeah, sweet. I'd say, um, I know whenever I, I got mine signed, it was, I think it's pretty sure it was 2018 Boston Ace Comic Con. I think he charged like two two twenty five for the autograph signing. Nowadays, um, to get him signed something, it probably would cost like I bet you three three fifty just to get him to sign. He doesn't do very many private signings, like hardly ever. So Iron Patriot, just the pop by itself, unsigned, just the pop, is worth two hundred ten dollars. Just the pop. Looking on eBay, sold listings. None of these Iron Patriots have sold in the past ninety days on eBay. The only ones sold are the War Machines. Like just the common War Machine Funko Pop worth like 20 bucks. Sells for around $200 autographed. So this pop by itself is worth around $210 by itself just the pop. This pop and autographed and authenticated. I'd say as it sits by itself, it would be worth probably four to four twenty-five by itself. The way it sits. Four to four twenty-five. The Yora Floor is worth $13. The Mo is worth $11. So I say combined, I say this box is probably worth giving this around, let's say $425. These $25. So I say these are probably worth around $450. So this box was like $425. Um, I'm honestly, the more I see this one, I think I'm actually going to keep this one and sell my other Don Cheadle autograph because the one that i actually have signed um actually i think i have him signed it's I'm trying to think back i thought i had him signed i had him sign the iron patriot like the nomatop but no i actually had him sign the war machine the civil war war machine pop which is worth like 15 20 bucks that's the one i have him signed is the war machine from the civil war i'm kind of leaning to actually keeping this one and selling that one on whatnot I'm kind of leaning towards that now. We got much rather have this one signed by Don Shield than the one that I've had now for like five years. Does that make sense? I think I might actually do that. So yeah, fantastic box. And I'm actually, I'm there's like a 99% chance I'm going to keep this pop because I collect autographs. This is an, an actual upgrade to the one that I had signed by Don Cheadle. I actually used Zobi as a middleman for the autograph sign. I personally didn't meet Don Cheadle, but I sent the pop off for Zobi, and they, they were the service that got it signed for me. They got a pop signed by Don Cheadle and a Thanos signed by Josh Brolin at Boston Ace Comic Con. So I wasn't like a person. If I would have personally met him, I would, not, I would not sell that one. But since I didn't personally meet him, it's just a signed pop. So I think I'm actually going to upgrade and keep this one and sell mine. I think it's, it's a nice upgrade. So anyway, fantastic video. I'm loving this one. This is great. My bracelet, two huge thumbs up.